two recipes Saturday morning going here. So I've got some beans, some uh, some navy beans, some white beans. I'm going to make a pasta fagioli. I like to call it pasta fagioli because I think i got to talk to my friend Dominic and find out how they say bean in a time. But I, say, I think it's fagioli. I'm not sure, though. There's my beans cooking for my pasta fagioli. Pasta fagioli, pasta fagioli. And uh, I don't I don't soak my beans ahead of time. But it is really slow simmer them. They take about an hour, hour and a half maybe. Real slow. Low and slow. All right, uh what are you doing, buddy? Huh? Picking up some loose ends. Hey, but uh so we're making that pasta fagioli. That's how they really say it in, in Italy. Fagioli. And that's because I work with Carlo Galasso and it was fagioli is the bean. Is bean in Italian. So I don't know why Americans, you know, we always pasta fazul. Pasta fazul. You know, like they can't pronounce they can't pronounce it properly. I don't know, but it just it catches on. And uh gabagool, you know, capicola, they go gabagool and moots, moots. You know, but uh, so we're gonna do it. But to me, you know, you know, I always try to think about how how recipes evolved, and I really think that it's uh, um, is, uh, in Italy. From what I understand, I'll let you know more when I go over there. But um, you know, soup for every course. So it's they leftover bones and scraps that make the stock, and you know they have. They eat a lot of beans, so they might have some beans in the refrigerator. Uh, to me, it's like cleaning out the icebox. Um, kind of a soup, a bean and pasta soup. Leftover pasta from the night before, maybe some pasta and sauce. They just put it in the soup. It helps thicken it. And uh, so that's, the, well, that's my feeling is, is uh, that's where it comes from. And, uh, but uh, so I have some fennel. In the time I think they call it finocchio, finocchio. Some nice fennel. I like the tops, everything. I used to, we used to just throw these out. Then I started, you know, you know, when you're paying for it, you start thinking, man, this stuff would probably be all right. And sure enough. So again, you know, the root, I just cut the very, the very end off. But so um, some nice fennel. That's gonna give it so much nice flavor into the soup okay so we'll just start loading it all in the beans are like three quarters three quarters cooked so i figure it's all going to cook in together i'm even going to put some cabbage in mine Maybe they don't in Italy, but this is my variation of it. Oh, it's going to be a hearty, like, you know, it's like a minestrone, I guess. Then I've got radicchio, a lot of celery, white onion, carrot, a little bit of carrot, a little bit of red bell pepper. So that's all going in. Okay. And then I have some nice chicken stock. My alto cucina, some tomatoes, alto 
cappuccino. Put it nice and chunky. That'll cook right into the soup. Okay. Then what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll check it out when I stir it up, Keisha. See? I'll check for seasoning. We're going to simmer that down. I'm going to cook my dentellini pasta. Dentellini pasta. So what I'll do is I'll cook it al dente. I'll put some in and then uh, cool some off. So I like to cook some into the soup so it gets nice and soft. But then I also like to add some before I serve it. Then the beans, we're just going to see. This is the only part here. A lot of people snip off both ends. That's it, just the very top. See that? Just the very tip. See that? Even these ends are nice. Even those ends. Are... So, uh, I'll cut these on an angle a little bit. Well, I have a few in now. But some it right at the end, cause so we keep the color or not. Uh, but that's it. Nice simple soup. We're gonna check it for salt and pepper. Add a little basil to it, maybe if we if we have some fresh. And that's it. Dang Jack's cool with the blues. Pasta fagioli. I knew I had it right. All right, the water's boiling. I seasoned up. The soup, a little bit of fresh uh, rosemary, has some dried basil, dried oregano. I season this a little more salt and pepper. Okay. Get that pasta boil it up like al dente. I'll cool it down. Throw my beans in right now. I got about another 10, 15 minutes. Pasta's out real al dente. It took two spoons to put it into the soup. So I'm gonna let that cook and it'll you know absorb some of the broth and get nice and soft. And then, like I said, I'll, you know, when, when we're heating some up every day, I'll put a little bit of a little bit more of the al dente into the soup. So it's a nice contrast. All right, come on in on this here, Lakeisha. Got yeah, just nicely, slowly simmered now. So it is kind of, you, know, you could call it a minestrone probably, but it's my take on pasta fagioli. Okay, move over to the table. There's no way we're going to eat all this, is it, will we, Lakeisha? Probably not, no. It's tasty, though. It is. I did have to sample it earlier. It's nice to give some to friends it and is. family. No, it's a lot of work, you know, making something from scratch. and I like to give it to people that appreciate it, you know, that, mm -hmm. that really love food and That's it, we'll let that cool down a little bit. Look at that, right in the Rayo's jar. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know what, that'll, that'll seal up, believe it or not. Just like you would get it out of the grocery store. Look at that. Nice homemade, everything from scratch. I guess Axel doesn't want it. He knows it's dinner time. But then we're going to try that pasta fagioli. You know, I'm sure I'll get some slack from across the pond. <laughs> like I did with my Sicilian <laughs> pasta. Oh, my God. What else? My lasagna? Deconstructed lasagna? Yeah, the Sicilian sandwiches. Oh, Sicilian sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Can't do right. Well, mm. 
God, I try. So, <laughs> mm. Like I said, it is like a minestrone, but it's still going to be my version of pasta fagioli. For pasta fagioli. Mmm. <laughs> Edit that one out. <laughs> Imagine it, you know, like, like it's, uh, you know, this country's gumbo or chowder. You know, people use whatever they, they have available. There's no, no two soups alike. You know, you can always have the, the same recipe, but it, sometimes it always comes out different. But as long as the end result is it comes out good and it's good to eat, that's all that counts. But if uh, you like any of Daddy Jack's merchandise, uh, it can be daddyjacksnewlondon.com. Um, please subscribe. If you like the video, please subscribe and uh, tell your friends. You know, share it on social media. And um, if you want to become a member of uh, uh, Cooking with the Blues, it's uh, on Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash cooking with the blues. We love you all. We're enjoying ourselves here cooking and eating some, making some good food for ourselves. Lakeisha on camera, what a wonderful job you're doing. A lot of comments. Love you. Love you all. Love you, honey. Stay healthy. Okie dokie.